Johannes Tauler Johannes Tauler op, circa 1300, June 16, 1361, was a German mystic, a Catholic preacher and a theologian. A disciple of Meister Eckhart, he belonged to the Dominican order. Tauler was known as one of the most important Rhineland mystics. He promoted a certain Neoplatonist dimension in the Dominican spirituality of his time. Life He was born about the year 1300 in Strasbourg, and seems to have been the son of Nicolas Tauler or Tuller, of Finkweiler, who in 1304 was a member of the Strasbourg Town Council. Entered the Dominican order at the age of about 18, and was educated at the Dominican convent in that city. Meister Eckhart, who greatly influenced him, was active in Strasbourg circa 1313 to 1326, though it is unclear what relationship they may have had. It is possible that while taking the customary eight years course of study at the monastery he heard Eckhart preach. From Strasbourg he went to the Dominican College of Cologne, and perhaps to St. James's College, Paris, ultimately returning to Strasbourg, but more probably he returned from Cologne to Strasbourg. Dot. Around 1330 Tauler began his preaching career in Strasbourg. The city contained eight convents of Dominican nuns and perhaps 70 smaller Beguine communities. It seems likely that, as with Meister Eckhart and Henry Suso, much of his preaching was directed to holy women. Most of Tauler's nearly 80 sermons seem to reflect a convent situation, although this may partly reflect the setting in which such sermons were most likely to be written down and preserved. In 1338 or 1339 the Dominicans were exiled from Strasbourg as a result of the tensions between Pope John XXII and Louis of Bavaria. Tauler spent his exile, circa 1339-1343, in Basel. Here, he became acquainted with the circles of devout clergy and laity known as the Friends of God, Goddess Freund. Tauler mentions the Friends of God often in his sermons. Evidence for further connections with this group is found in the letters exchanged between the secular priest Henry of Nurtlingen and his spiritual friend, the Dominican nun Margaret Ebner. Through Henry, Tauler also became acquainted with Meshtild of Magdeburg's flowing light of the Godhead. Tauler worked with the Friends of God, and it was with them that he taught his belief that the state of the soul was affected more by a personal relationship with God than by external practices. In this way, he was more of a proselytizer than his counterpart, Eckhart. Tauler returned to Strasbourg around 1343, but the following years brought various crises. Strasbourg experienced a devastating earthquake and fire in 1346. From late 1347 until 1349, the city was ravaged by the Black Death. It is said that when the city was deserted by all who could leave it, Tauler remained at his post, encouraging his terror-stricken fellow citizens with sermons and personal visits. Tauler traveled fairly extensively in the last two and a half decades of his life. He made several trips to Cologne. A number of his sermons were clearly delivered there, as indicated by their survival in the Cologne dialect of Middle High German. Data credible tradition suggests he visited John of Roosbrook and Krunendal at some point in the 1350s. He is credited with composing the words of the Advent song, Es kommt dein Schiff, Geladen. The oldest existing text source is a manuscript dated before 1450, found in the Strasbourg Dominican convent of St. Nicolaus in Undis, which Tauler was known to have visited frequently. There are also some stylistic similarities to his other writing. According to tradition, Tauler died on June 16, 1361 in Strasbourg. He was buried in the Dominican church in Strasbourg with an incised gravestone that still survives in the Temple Nof. The well-known story of Toller's conversion and discipline by the Friend of God from the Oberlin cannot be regarded as historical. Sermons Toller leaves no formal treatises, either in Latin or the vernacular. Rather, he leaves around 80 sermons. Toller's sermons began to be collected in his own lifetime, three 14th century manuscripts date from around the time of Toller's return to Strasbourg after his exile in Basel. Toller sermons were printed first in Leipzig in 1498 reprinted in 1508 at Augsburg, and then again with editions from Eckhart and others at Basel, 1521 and 1522, at Halberstadt, 1523, at Cologne, 1543, and in Lisbon, 1551. A Latin translation was printed first at Cologne in 1548 and 1553. In the 19th century, editions were produced by Julius Hamburger, Frankfurt, 1864, and Ferdinand Vetter, Berlin, 
1910, reprinted Dublin slash Zurich, 1968. Tauler was famous for his sermons, which were considered among the noblest in the German language, not as emotional as Henry Suso's, nor as speculative as Eckhart's, but rather intensely practical, and touching on all sides the deeper problems of the moral and spiritual life. Tauler was one of several notable Christian Universalists in the Middle Ages, along with the Malarik of Benna and John of Ricebrook. He taught that all beings exist through the same birth as the Son, and therefore shall they all come again to their original, that is, God the Father.